Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for June 8th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Shut Up by Bill Murphy. Um, and before we get into the puzzle, you may notice this link. Um, Bill mentioned in his last video, we are now partnering with Grandmaster Puzzles as of June 7th. Um, so this is the second puzzle that will appear there and is already up um, as of me recording this. Um, there's not going to be any change to um, where the puzzles appear currently. We still will be posting on the CTC Community Discord. We still will be uploading walkthroughs, um, making them available the day after, and linking puzzles there. Um, but you will be seeing links to GM Puzzles and the blog posts. Um, I'm actually planning to bring up the uh, post for this at the end of this video. If you're curious what it looks like, obviously you can just go there. Um, but if you're watching on a TV or something like that and um, just want to see it, uh, there will be a little bit of bonus content. Um, so you can see what that looks like. This is an anti-night puzzle. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, cells uh, separated by a knight's move. That's the way Bill worded this. Uh, I'm gonna highlight these. Um, these are separated by a knight's move in chess. They cannot contain the same digit. So this cannot be set. Um, in fact, this green cell sees all of these as well. So this green digit cannot be three, four, seven, or nine, or whatever's in these. So those are the rules. We're going to get started in the middle. Bill's given us a lot of digits in this nice checkerboard pattern. And he set up something very nice um, on this side of the grid in particular to start with. We can see this a couple of different ways, um, but I'm going to look at it in the hidden single sort of way. Um, let's think about where one can go in this box. There are already four given digits, none of them are one. This one also sees these cells in column. So these are all ruled out. But now these two cells see one by anti knight. There are knights move away. So they can't contain. This is a one. It's the only place in the box. Um, and it happens. We can do the same for three, seven, and eight because those are four distinct digits from the digits that Bill gave us in the box. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what. Bill is setting up here. Um, three can't go in these cells by antonite or this cell in the column, so this is three. Seven can't go here or here, so this is seven. Eight can't go here, and that leaves nine. Um, we could have gotten the nine directly by seeing that it sees a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, four of those by antonite, four in the box. So that gets us that box immediately. Um, this cell, actually, we can resolve. The row needs uh, 2, 5, 6, 8, and that cell sees 2, 6, and 5 by anti knight, so this must be 8. Um, this row needs 1, 2, 4, and 6, 2, 6 here, and a 4 here by anti knight, so this must be the 1. All right, let's come over here. Uh, 5 has the same sort of thing in this box, 5 can only go here. Uh, 7 also, and when we go here, and that's going to leave 1, 2, 4 in the box. That's the 1 here, 2, 4 from our given digits. It's going to leave 6, 2, and then these are 1 and 7, which are resolved by this 7. So that is the middle band done. The rest of the digits in this row are 2, 5, 6. Um, and I was going to point out, this isn't quite the way I solved this when I was test solving it. I didn't have this 8. The first thing I noticed in this row is something that I've picked up by setting way too many anti night puzzles and solving them. Um, these 2s. Sometimes when you have alternating cells that have givens or are already filled in, in an anti night puzzle, you can look for this pattern. 2s uh, ruled out of here and here. But this 2, because it's next to this cell, if we skip over the next empty cell, 
it's a chest knight's move away from that cell. So two is, two is ruled out. Um, anytime you have two dominoes separated by a column or a row like this, those four cells must contain deceit digits. Um, you can actually do even better if you're going across boxes like this in the same band or in the same stack. All six of these see each other. Um, you might verify that. Um, but two can only go in the cell in the row. This can't be five, so we resolve that row. Um, two can't go here. And six can't go here. So this is the four. And then six, two. So that gets us all of the middle five rows. And now I slowed way down in my test solve here. Um, there are quite a few singles to find. It really just depends on what order you find them in. Uh, so I think the first one I found is in this column. We need a four, and it can't go in this box, and this four sees that cell. And we're going to be left with three, five, seven here, which we can't resolve yet, but I will go ahead and pencil mark it. Um, this one I don't think is restricted yet. This can't be five, and this can't be seven. All right, uh, what about these? Three can't go in these cells, and this three sees that cell, so this is a three. And four, five, four, sorry, five, seven in the remaining cells. That's not seven. That's also not seven, so we get a seven as well. Uh, these cells contain two, four, six, nine. I don't think these are quite as resolved. Um, this one can't contain 6 or 9, so it's 2 or 4. And 2 and 4 see this cell, so this is 6 or 9. Uh, we'll come back to that. I think we want to look at this column next. Uh, 9 can't go up here. 9 can't go here, so this is 9, and that's going to give us the 6 here. Uh, 6, 9. This one's not 4 or 2, so that's 9. All right, over here, we still need a nine, so this is nine. This is two or five. Five, six, that one's not two. Okay, the rest of this column, we need two, three, six. This cell sees three, and this cell sees three, so this is our three. That's going, oh, not there. It's gonna resolve the five here. Still need two and six, not resolved yet. This column needs one, five, seven, eight. We have a five up here now, this five, so this is five. And there, there's a lot of this in this puzzle. We get two cells in the box, one by anti um, several times. Uh, one, seven, and eight here. This one can't be eight, this one can't be seven. Uh, we still need an 8 in this box. It's going to go there. We're getting this kind of pattern as well. Um, pretty cool. This can't be 3 or 7, so it's the 1. It's going to resolve a bunch of digits. The 5 here resolves the 2, 6, 5, 4, 2. These are 3 and 9. Up here we need a 4. And then this is one or eight. Uh, seven and eight are resolved. These are one, two, six. Uh, these are resolved as well. And where's the last place we need to look? This can't be one. So it is six or eight. Uh, six here, so one, two, six. This is two, so it's eight, one, six, and one. That's the solution. A really neat setup um, with the anti knight into the boxes in the middle. Um, a little bit trickier at the end. Um, it, it could take you a while to find the singles, um, especially if you're not doing a lot of pencil marking, or just because the anti knight is a little hard to scan for. Um, we don't do them as often, and so we don't look for those eliminations.
Um, but that is how you solve Shut Up by Bill Murphy. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know how you did in the comments. So as promised, here's a look at the GM Puzzles blog. Um, this is the puzzle that we just solved, the Anti-Night Sudoku by Bill Murphy. Um, they provide a uh, image of the puzzle typeset in their own software. So some of these may look a little different. Um, they also provide a PDF if you want to print out the puzzle and solve on paper. Um, still the link to solve on Sudoku Pad. Um, if we ever need to provide an alternate link, that will appear here. Um, but typically we use Sudoku Pad. Um, it will also include the usual uh, time standards, party hats, and dinosaur. Um, as a bonus, some puzzles, I don't know if he intends to do all of them this way, uh, but some puzzles will include Thomas's time and a replay file that you can load in Stoke Pad to see how he solved it, uh, to see what order he did things in. I haven't checked this out yet. Um, I'm going to take a look at it later and see what order he did things in and if it is at all similar to what I did. Uh, probably not. Um, it also includes a PDF of the solution, uh, if you just want to see visually where the, uh, where the digits go. And yeah, that's what it looks like. This is the first puzzle uh, by Clover that appeared on our anniversary, and what it looks like on the blog. So I hope you'll check that out. Um, as I said, we will still be appearing on the CTC Community Discord, on our YouTube channel. Um, other people will still be solving these puzzles on YouTube. So check those walkthroughs out as well. Um, this is another avenue for you or for anybody else to get exposure to these puzzles. Um, and if you like solving puzzles, GM Puzzles has a ton of puzzles on it. Um, they've been operating for years and years and years. And for a while, we're doing a daily puzzle. Um, we are kind of filling in the daily Sudoku slot for them in some sense. Uh, but they have all sorts of other kinds of puzzles, uh, some number placement, object placement, shading, etc. So check out any of those that you might be interested in. Um, I'm really looking forward to this collaboration. I think a lot of neat, neat things are going to come out of it. Um, and I did want to mention, I, I may have mentioned this at some point, it really was a genuine pleasure to meet Thomas at SudokuCon. Um, I, I can be quite introverted <laughs> and shy um, in person, um, so I wasn't really sure what to expect meeting anybody. Um, more comfortable with meeting Clover, say, because I talked to her a ton on Discord. Um, but Everybody was so nice, and uh, I had such a great time. Um, but in particular, Thomas, me, Clover, a number of other people, we just had some really interesting conversations about all sorts of topics. Um, so that was one of the highlights of the event. So that is all I have to ramble about, I think. Um, and I will see you next time.